Hey YouTube, it's Audrey, and I'm here to share with you a mini album that I have made for Sandy, who is Decorate Your Life here on YouTube. A while ago, I had posted a comment on a video of hers, and she mentioned in her response that she would love to do a swap, so we decided to do one. She has already made mine a few weeks back, and... She had a tutorial video on how she did it, and I am finally getting around to completing hers. And for this mini, I used a tutorial from a few years ago um, from Follow the Paper Trail, and it was the three ring mini scrapbook video. And I came across it actually by watching an older video of Nurse Tara 04's where she made a Christmas mini album and she used that tutorial. So the original tutorial had three um, rings that um, were used and I used two which is what Nurse Tara did in her video. So anyway as you can see before you there is the cover and I used two different paper pads. Um, or paper lines. One was the die cuts with a view, the heirloom stack, which is a 180 stack. I used a few pages from that, and that's where the cover page and the inside pages, um, the inside cover pages are from. And then I used, <coughs> excuse me, a line of older papers from. Three birds from um, Q, from not QVC from HSN, and it was their estate collection, which um, if you remember, they did quite a few years back. And it was this line, the found treasures. I used papers from it, and then also some of the cutouts, and then um, a couple chipboard pieces. And then I used various embellishments in my stash um, from um, different companies. Some Wild Orchid Craft Roses, some resin pieces, and then this flower here is Prima. And the Pearl Spray is from um, the Hobby Lobby Wedding section. Then I had some Recollections Pearl Swirls and then... These embellishments, the words, are from K and Company. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I believe the balloon is also from a K and Company embellishment pack that I had. But Sandy likes vintage and she likes shabby. And this um, probably can be considered shabby vintage. But as you can see, here's my flower cluster. And have a little tiny flower there that's two-toned. And another one up there. And a couple resin flowers. It's pearl spray. Up here I added some gold corners. And these were um, stickers from the paper studio. And it says always remember. And I added some pearls across the balloon. So that's the first page or the cover. And as you can see, here are two rings, and they are gold rings that I have that I am holding the album together. The back, and then I used one of the tag cutouts from that Found Treasures collection from Three Birds and stamped my information. When you open the cover, I used a like lace type paper and I thought that was really really cool for her because she likes shabby and she likes vintage and so I think that fits the bill and then the first page well for the pages I used actually um chipboard pieces from Michaels and I painted the edges and then um, they already had the holes in them so I just changed out the rings because they came with silver rings and I had some gold ones that I bought. So I used those. Then I used a piece of 
ephemera, which is this flower, and I believe this is from a can company pack, as well as this word happy. And I added the gold corners corner here, and then the flower is left open so that she can stick a photo or something behind there if need be, or she could just add a photo to this section. And then I added a piece of bling from Bling Mesh in the center of the flower. The next pages. Let me do it like that. Are um, flip out pages. But on the first page, I use this felt um, flower frame, and that was from my stash from a long time ago. And then some. Um, Lace on a Roll from Recollections. And then another one of those stickers that I have on the cover. I have pearls that I put in the corners up here. And this one flips open. And I used kind of ledger paper and just the sticker here that I, I put on phone dots that says Dream. Which is one of the Tim Holtz stickers. Then I just added one of the chipboard pieces from the Found Treasures collection. So you fold that back up. Go to this side. And with this one, I thought with all the um, edging on the paper that it really didn't need anything. So I just added a few of the tiny pearls in each of the corners. You open it up and it's the same type paper here and then I added sore and then this is one of the die cuts from the found treasures and then I have that on foam dots also so I close that back and then turn to the next page and I also have each page on a um, piece of cream color cardstock, which you could see so that there's an extra layer on each. So with this one, this is like an old ad page, and it has um, an ornate border in the corner here and here. And so, I kind of wanted to keep that paper showing, so I just added this clear border down here, and I just stuck it around the edges so it could be a pocket to hold photographs or um, whatever she like. Then, I just added a gold flower little border up there. Flip the page, and then for this page... Uh, it's a ledger page with writing on it. I have pearls in three of the corners. This is a acetate clear bicycle. And that's from um, a can company pack. I added another piece of the bling mesh here for the wheel. And a little tiny pearl there in the center of that wheel. But again, this is loose. Whereas she could stick something behind there if she wants, like that. Or if she has a photo, you could still see the photo through there. So she has that option. Then this folds down. And then with here, I kept it simple so that she could use it for photo mats. Just added a rose sticker here and a sticker here with bleed. This page has the same paper. Put the pearls in the corner and then I use the butterfly from the ephemeral pack and it too is loose where she could put something in there if she like. Or she could just put a photo here and with this one it actually flips up. So I have a a tag with dream here and then up here there is a butterfly and both of these are dimensional stickers so they're layered all right
next page. Let me switch hands here. Next page here um, has a border around the outside edge. And then I have a chipboard arrow. I have a Dazzles um, frame sticker here. A bicycle from ephemera pack. And then I put pearls in the centers of the wheels. And then a journey sticker. And then for this page, again, the paper was so beautiful that um, I didn't want to do anything major to it. So what I did was I add two little gold um, flower cluster stickers. You can see. There we go. And then in the center of the flowers that are on the paper, I put little pearls. So there's three there and one up there. And so that was that page. And then the last page um, just has couple of flower stickers here and I put little pearls in the center of the flowers sorry about that there you go and then this page here is a pocket so she could add photos there so that is my album and Sandy I hope you like it and I thank you so much for being patient to wait until I got it out to you. You should have it shortly and I will be coming up with another video soon. So thank you guys for hanging in there. Thank you to all my subscribers and that subscribers old and new and to everyone watching you have a great day and very blessed day. Make sure you like this video if you like it and also if you want to see close-up still shots you can check out my blog which is The So Good Crafter and it is SoGoodCrafter.com and it's S-E-W. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great and blessed day. Bye-bye.